been a while since I made a video. Um, kind of got out of wanting to do it. Um, but my racism thread has actually made me want to make one. And I'm actually going to make three. There's three things I want to address that come out of this video and the response to it. So the first is kind of a mea culpa. I went back and watched the video over again and um, there's two things I really should have clarified and in retrospect I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt. Big target, hard to miss, uh, over it. First and is I should have said that the racist student was a middle school kid, second year middle school. He wasn't an elementary school kid. Uh, I only mentioned that the girl who was the subject of the racism was an elementary school student. Uh, and I, I should have clarified that. Second year middle school, first year middle school, you know, he's old enough to know better. He had also been my student for over a year off and on. Um, and I know what works with him in getting through. Confronting him, maybe a little humiliation. Humiliation being that you're confronting him about his behavior in front of his peers. Um, that's what gets through to him. It gets through to him more than sending him to the director's office. It gets through to him more than, well, if I was a Korean teacher, I would have smacked him upside the head and beat him. Um, but that got through. Later, him and I had a talk about what was said in that. And he understood why it was wrong. He said he didn't mean it to hurt her and make her cry. Kind of believe that. I think he did know it was going to hurt, but give him a little benefit of the doubt. On his own, without any prodding, he did apologize to her. And he never, ever talked like that again in any of my classes. And as far as I know, and he's still at our school, he's never done that in anyone else's class. Maybe it worked. Uh, the second thing I should clarify, and once again, kicking myself in the butt. Uh, when I was saying what happened in the class, I didn't distinguish between what was running through my head and what ran out of my mouth. Sometimes the brain does work faster than the mouth. Um, I said, you little racist, and I did take him to task for what he said. But I never swore at him. And that can be a little confusing by what I said. Uh, because I didn't clarify it. Running through my head was, you bloody little piece of racist shit. Da 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 da. But no, I don't swear at my students. So I can understand some of the um, overreaction, some of the negative reaction came from the people thinking I swore at the student. And I didn't. And I have no one to blame for that misconception except myself because I should have clarified that better. Um, so, like I said, a little mea culpa. Two things I really should have clarified more in the video when I originally made it. Um, but this did leave, the response has left me with uh, another thing I want to address and I'll do that in the next video. Have a good weekend.